we're finally able to start our summer topping in the UK. We're going to start with our steak and the colony and move them outside. This is a 450 litre or 98 gallon koi vat. Because the temperatures in the UK are still not that ideal, we're going to use a couple of heaters just to be safe and not risk any of the fish. We're probably going to use them for at least a month or so. I guess the first thing we need to do is drain out the vat so that myself and partner can lift it outside. Let's begin, shall we? Moments later. So, first of all, we are going to pump out the water from the koi vat straight into our external water butt so that we can then refill the vat once it's outside with the established water. Four moments later. That is now outside and we are pumping the water they were initially in back into the vat from the water butt storage. This way we can keep the water parameters the same as what they've been used to indoors. Two hours later. The vat is now fully filled up and we've decided to remove all the duckweed just to make videoing our progress through the summer easier for you lovely bunch to see. We are going to use our wet dry vacuum method to remove all this shizzle and hopefully not suck up any enders in the process. One eternity later. All done. We're just going to leave a lid on overnight, keep the temperatures as high as possible, and we will see how these are doing in the morning. The next morning. It's about 10 a.m. Sunday morning, and everyone seems happy enough. Temperatures in the tub are holding well, so no problems there either. I'll just give them a quick light feed, then my partner's going to do some tip and pause just to show some of the colours up close. Well, check these guys out. So we've been culling pretty hard for about a year now to try and get rid of all of the males that don't have both of the round um, markings. And for the f most part, we seem to have been doing quite well with that. So yeah, really happy with these. Just look at these males, stunning as ever, and females are nice and plump, ready to pop. Being outside definitely agrees with them. Tomorrow. Another day later and everyone's still happy. Um, sun's finally out in the UK, or at least it will be for around 10 minutes and the fish seem to really enjoy that. Can't wait for them to suck up a bit of vitamin D in a couple of weeks, see how the colours pop.
meanwhile. Next to go outside is our long thin white cloud mat of minnows. This is them in the aquarium they're currently in. So the temperatures in the UK seem just about high enough to now put these ones out. So let's do that. Where we are in the UK, the current forecast is not shown to drop below 8 degrees Celsius for the next 10 days, so hopefully all will be good as white clouds can survive temperatures as low as 5 degrees. However, worst case scenario, we can add heaters to them if the forecast changes. Because the water is a little cooler outside than it is inside, I'm just going to add some to the pot to take the edge off before I pour them in. And they're away. Although you can't really see them right now. Just going to add a little bit of guppy grass to hopefully encourage some spawning behaviour for the white clouds. Ponds ready to go. So moving back into the fish room, these are our Vietnamese cardinal minnows, which we are planning to combine with our white cloud mountain minnows. However, we have decided to postpone moving these outside for another week or so, so that we can enjoy them a little longer in the aquarium. Another factor influence in this decision is that although they look very similar to the white cloud mountain minnows, in our experience at least, they are slightly less tolerant of lower temperatures and we really don't want to take any chances with these little guys. Well that's about it for our first summer tub and video. We will be moving either our blue star or yellow tiger endless outside next. We haven't totally decided which one we're going to go with yet. Once we do move our Vietnamese cardinal minnows outside, we hope to show them breeding by the end of the summer. As always, myself and my partner would like to thank every one of our 252 subscribers for subscribing to us. While 252 subscribers may seem insignificant to some YouTubers, for us we find it very humbling, as we didn't dream we would ever reach 50 subscribers, yet alone 252. So thank you again for following us on our fish, snail and shrimp keeping journey and until the next one, please take care of yourselves.